they used to call him crooked Joe. They call Trump an abuser, a rapist. Sometimes we just need to be honest with ourselves. Mr. Speaker, I want to say something to my colleagues in this house. And I'm not pontificating, it's just my reality. I feel because of the issues that I've been raising, I could be abducted. And I am not anti-government. What I am saying is that our country deserves better. We can run this country. President William Ruto can continue to govern this country and he can even win the coming elections if he did the basic things that Kenyans want. Please, let us not kill our young people. It is only in Latin America when drug dealers and warlords organize for certain individuals who disagree with them to assassinate or abduct people, to violate women's rights. I am begging my colleagues, in fact, I am begging the President of the Republic of Kenya, President William Ruto, the history of this country will never forgive you if these abductions continue. If individuals have extrajudicial killings where they are murdered because they have a different political opinion or where they are questioning government policy and decisions. Let us not think this is the reason why the young men went to the streets. They felt that we were not doing our job. Our job is to tell them. Senator Omar Sheikh Mariam. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, in the Constitution of Kenya, there is a right to life. And life starts...